You are confused by all the new games trying to be a new Paragon, would like to get some more specific details on the new games or don't even know what the hell is going on with Paragon and what this new game is called Fault? In this video you'll learn everything important you need to know. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, my name is Chris and it's your man Sharks. Today I have a great announcement for you if you want to get some more details on the upcoming post Paragon games or if you just want to get a quick overview about what is actually going on with these and what it is about Fault, Predecessor and everything you might have heard about recently. If you think you're already pretty good on track with the new Paragon games, this video will give you a better overview about it all again. A great community has formed itself along the new Paragon 2 developments, but many people still seem to be a little bit confused about all these different studios and games and I find the same questions over and over again under my and other YouTubers videos or Facebook comments, Twitter and so on. That's why I decided to make a video series about all you need to know about the upcoming post Paragon games. I will make this series in English and in German. You can also find this video in German on my channel, cause it's also a part of the series. I made two separate playlists for this, called Paragon 2 English and Paragon 2 Deutsch. In this video series you'll learn everything important about what actually is going on, for those who have no idea at the moment, information about the new games trying to bring back a Paragon-like game, which means Fault, Predecessor, Core, Primax and Ethereal, and more specific videos about most asked questions like when a Paragon-like game will come to PS4. I already uploaded a video about that, one in English and one in German, which I also added to the playlist. I also already uploaded a video covering Core, but I'll make an updated video of that for this series as well. That should be it for the intro, so let's start this video series for all the newcomers with what is actually going on. Most of you should know that Paragon was shut down on April 26 of 2018. Epic Games, the studio behind Paragon, decided to not work on their game anymore because they wanted to focus on Fortnite and because Paragon brought them no real income, they shut the servers for the game down. With heavy hearts we've decided to close down Paragon. But to comfort their game's fans, Epic Games published nearly all the Paragon assets for free. The assets are what the game consists of, such as character models, animations and terrain models. These were worth about 12 million dollars and could be used with the Unreal Engine 4 by everyone who wants to, to just mess a bit with them or to create a new game. And that's where we are now. About a year later we got several small developing teams trying to bring back a Paragon-like game, with the assets Epic Games provided. Since then some of these have been gotten a little bit in the background and some new ones came to it. One of the first attempts to create a Paragon-like game was Project Phoenix Rising by Visionary Games. This team however did not use any of the Paragon assets because they wanted to make a game with their own identity. But for quite some time you don't hear anything about this and it seems like this dream already died. Right after that, two new games got announced by two other teams. First, Core by Metabuff and second, Predecessor by Armada Studios. Both teams use the Paragon assets and are still working hard on their game. Core is supposed to become a mix of Legacy and Monolith Paragon, while Predecessor is pretty much trying to remake a better version of Legacy. You'll learn everything important about these games and the following in this video series. I also upload updates when there are some news, so feel free to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out on any information, news and updates about the post Paragon games and a potential Paragon 2. This is very easy and free, just click on the red button subscribe and activate the bell to always stay up to date properly. Back to the topic, the next game which we were introduced to is Ethereal Clash of Souls. This is a very unique third person MOBA because the team behind this called Undying Games also decided to start everything from the ground up. This game is actually not trying to be a Paragon like game, but it got inspired by it and it will also be a third person MOBA with next gen graphics. Very special about this game is that it will have lanes on top of each other and it will have a 6v6 mode. More details about this in another video. Prime X should be the next game on the list. 
This one is being developed by a Korean team called Team Sule, and this one is definitely going to be a very special one as well. From all the games we've seen so far, this one seems to have the best graphics and smoothest animations. However, they probably won't make this a MOBA, but a kinda like or prime centered arena game. Very new on the list, but definitely one of the fan favorites is Fault by Strange Better Studios. The team has worked on their attempt to bring back a Paragon like game for over a year now, and only two months ago they went public with it. Except the UI, the game looks very good so far, runs smoothly, and 10,000 people could already try the game during the pre alpha holiday access. This game is going to be a very Paragon-like game, a third-person mobile with 5v5 games. The map is a mix of Monolith and Legacy, but tends more towards a Monolith map. I already uploaded many Fault videos, such as gameplays and filmic edited videos, so-called gameplay edits, and I upload another new video series called Fault What The Fuck Moments. If you watched Aelid's Paragon What The Fuck Moments, you know exactly what this is about. The most epic and funny gaming moments will be shown to you there in a very funny meme based way. <laughs> I got greedy, dude. I got greedy. That's what you fucking get. I hope I could help you out with this information in the video. If you want to know more about all the games I mentioned in this video, look forward to the new more specific episodes about each game of this video series. That should be it for now. I'm out, so just like always, thank you for watching and have a beautiful day.